All right, Shalom. Give all praise, glory, and honors unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kakudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, best, and hopeful elect. It's another edition of the uh, verse of the day. And uh, <clears throat> this is from uh, the book of Revelation, 21st chapter, which is one of my favorite uh, favorite chapters in the scriptures, dealing with uh, the coming blessings to Israel. All right, this is Revelation chapter 21. Click on the verse, chapter 21, verse 4. It says, And the Most High shall wipe away all tears, all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. All right? Um, I'm going to click on the whole chapter, actually. And that's the actual verse. Um, so this is dealing with Israel. And dealing with the coming kingdom that we're going to have um, here on the planet Earth, uh, this American society, this whether it's the EU or NATO or China, wherever you live at today, this world is going to be destroyed. And what's known in the Bible as the War of Armageddon, um, or what's also known more commonly as a World War Three, via uh, nuclear war. All right. Um, that is through prophecy in the Bible that is going to take place and the world to emerge out of that is going to be the world of the Hebrew Israelites uh, so, which consists of the so-called black Spans and Native Americans which is our true nationality and heritage alright um, so I'm going to go to the first verse and, and read on down through Revelation 21 and 1 it says and I saw a new heaven and a new earth which represents a rulership, all right, a new society in the earth. For the first heaven and the and the first earth were passed away, and this is talking about the 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 society that we have now, which is uh, really a society of sin and wickedness, which is being currently ruled by Esau, which are so-called white people. That's going to pass away, or this world is going to pass away. It's going to die off and be destroyed. And that's going to be the end of this society. It says, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem. This is talking about the elect of the Israelites, the chosen of the so-called black Spans and Native Americans. All right. Um, it says, New Jerusalem coming down from the most high out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. OK, because the heavenly father, God or the most high. Is only dealing with his chosen people, his favorite people, which are the Israelites, which are the only people to be given us salvation and deliverance. And we're going to be married to the spirit back to the heavenly father to rule on the planet. Verse three, it says, and I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, behold, the tabernacle of the most high is with men and men are going to be the ruling class as it should be. And really as it is now, but women are propped up through wickedness. Uh, but men is going to be the ruling class uh, over the universe, all right, who are going to follow and keep the laws, statutes, and commandments written in the first books of the Bible, or what they call the Torah, or the books of Moses, which are going to be governed by the Israelites, all right, men. And then the Lord is going to be with the elect chosen men of Israel in the near future to rule. It says, and he will dwell with them and they shall be his people and the most high himself shall be with them and be their power. So there's not going to be any more sins, any more wickedness, any more, more, more going off of so-called black Hispanic or Native American man. We're all going to follow the heavenly father and we're going to rule over our families, women, and children, and the other nations as well to follow our, our power, Yahweh, uh, which is the name of God and His Son, Yahweh Shah, who the world enemy calls Jesus. We're going to rule, okay? It says, And the Most High shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. So the Lord is going to wipe away all the tears from the eyes of the Israelites. And there shall be no more death, Neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Now, 
there was a, a couple of videos that were sent uh, amongst the brothers in the camp. And um, one was uh, this woman. She was on vacation and she came home to see her house robbed. Uh, who did it? You know, uh, it's speculated that it was someone she knew or family or someone. But she was crying and having to deal with the fact that her things were stolen. You know, and today, a lot of the women are foolish and the men are foolish as well. And we put things on social media so it looks as if we're living one way and then we come home and cry about it later. You know, because things happen. But that shouldn't be done, you know. Your business shouldn't be put out there in the street, as they say. But nevertheless, that sorrow of having your people come against you and rob you or you crying. That's that's what the scriptures talk about in verse four. We're not going to have to deal with our people being against us. Another one was um, a video of um, a Native American woman getting pulled over by the cops uh, on the reservation. You know, having to do a uh, alcohol blow test in, in the machine, you know, and that's just oppression, you know. I didn't see the cop. I'm, I'm not sure if it was a Native American cop or a white cop, but, you know, that's another part of, um, you know, the, the, the hell that our people catch in this society you know, because of certain motives and agendas and, you know, just the lifestyle and, and the you know, world that we live in. But what we see here in the prophecy and revelation is our people are not going to have to deal with that anymore. OK, now this is only talking about the Israelites. I'm going to emphasize that this is only talking about the Israelites, the East Indians, the so-called white people, the the, the 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 other nations of the world. They're not going to partake in this blessing. This is about the Lord's people. Okay? So now I'm going to go from here to the book of Deuteronomy. Um, Deuteronomy, the 30th chapter. And this is speaking to the Israelites, all right? This is in the law of the Bible. This is Deuteronomy 30 and 1. It says, And it shall come to pass, wherein these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations whither Yahweh thy God hath driven thee, and shall return unto Yahweh thy God, and shall obey his voice according to all that I command thee this day, thou and all thy children, with all thine heart and with all thy soul, that then Yahweh thy God uh, shall return thy captivity. And have compassion upon thee and will return and gather thee from all the nations, all the nations where the Yahweh that God hath scattered thee. So that prophecy is going to be fully fulfilled when Revelation, the 21st chapter comes to pass. The Lord is going to say that we are his people. He's going to bless us. He's going to have compassion upon us. All right. And he's going to um, to 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 bring us from all the countries and cities and places that we've been scattered to back into Jerusalem. Okay. Um, it says, if any of, the, if any of thine be driven out unto the utmost parts of heaven. All right. I mean, wherever in this rulership where Esau is over us, and is over us in the earth, the Lord is going to bring Israel back because the elect are scattered to the four winds of heaven or all over the earth, all over the planet. It says, From thence will Yahweh thy God gather thee, and from thence will he fetch thee. And Yahweh thy God will bring thee into the land which thy fathers possessed. So we're going to get Jerusalem back, and thou shalt possess it. Because right now, you know, we don't own, as the, the proverbial saying goes, you know, we don't own a, a window to throw the, the pot out of, let alone the pot, you know. <clears throat> you know, not a pot to piss on them or a window to throw it out of. It says, and he would do thee good and multiply thee above thy fathers. 
All right. So this is what the Lord is going to do. OK, for us. So we're not going to have to worry about the the police brutality marching in the streets, putting up picking signs, no justice, no peace. None of that. None of waking up in the morning at the five, six o'clock news and seeing, you know, your local gas station and seeing, you know, people gunned down. No more children getting hit with stray bullets. None of that. All right. The Heavenly Father is going to bless us. All right. Now, I want to go from here to uh, uh, Isaiah. Isaiah. The 14th chapter, verse 1, it says, For the Lord Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel. So he's going to have mercy. He wouldn't have, why, would he, why is he going to have mercy? Because there was a point where he punished Israel. All right, the Hebrew Israelites, which are so called black Hispanics and Native Americans. He punished us, but now he still says he's going to choose our people. It says, And set them in their own land. Right. I read about that in the last verse. It says, and the strangers shall be joined with them. The ones that have been scattered are going to come back. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for service and handmaid. So, so we're going to have a big role reversal of white people over our people. And we're going to be over them as it should be. And they shall take them captives whose captives they were. This is how you know what people is talking about. There no other race of people in the earth are captives under another people except for the black Spanish and Native Americans. Uh, uh, we're not talking about this economic mention. We're not talking about that. All right. The East Indians have us in captivity. The Chinese have us in captivity. The so-called African man has us in captivity. I'm not talking about that. All, I'm, remember, Africa is a continent, not countries. There are Israelites that have countries, all right? But there's also Africans that are native to that land, the people of Ham, that look like us, that are not our people. Just because you're dark-skinned doesn't mean that you are our people just because you're so-called black, okay? It says whose captives they were, and they shall rule. So we are going to rule. There's nothing that you can change about that. We're going to rule, it says, over their oppressors. Okay? All right? It says, and they shall rule over their oppressors. All right? It says they had taken them captive. So we're going to rule over the people that took us captive. All right? It says, and it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord Yahweh, which is really through the, the uh, um, through you know the, the prophecy is 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 through His Son, so the Lord Yahweh through His Son Yahweh Shai, because He's the beginning and He's our Savior. He, you know He's the beginning of all this. That this blessing is going to take place. It says, shall give thee rest from thy sorrow. Right, no more sorrow, no more tears. All right, and from thy fear. And from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve. And that, that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon, which America's Babylon. And we are taking this, this, these sayings and these words against Babylon, against America. It says, and say, how hath the oppressor ceased? The golden city ceased. And America has ceased from, from, from uh, uh, um, having uh, uh, his lies. Having America has ceased from having his lies rule the spirit of our people. Verse 5, the Lord hath broken the, the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the ruler. So Esau, which are the so-called white race in the earth, so-called white people. Um, although you do have white people that are Israelites. Um, because Israelites look like every nation where, where we have been scattered. Yet the rulers, the wicked, the actual Edomites are going to cease from ruling over us. All right? So I'm going to go back to Revelation 21. And this is something that we have to really focus on as, as part of. This is the real good news here. Okay? This is something that we have to focus on in our teaching as well. 
and the uh, gospel, which is the good news. Good news for who? Good news for so-called black Spanish and Native Americans, which we are the Hebrew Israelites. But also where there's good news, there's also bad news. And the bad news is to the people that oppress us. But it's good news to us. So this is a Revelation 21 and 4, the verse of the day. And the Most High shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Whose eyes? The Israelites' eyes. And there shall be no more death. This is what it means when Yahweh Shai, the word in him called Jesus Christ, says that there's going to be everlasting life. We're literally going to live forever. All right? You're not going to get sick. We're not, we're not, you know, there's not going to be no six-foot distance and mask wearing in our kingdom because there's not going to be any more death. Right? It says neither sorrow nor crying. Right? And that's because we're going to have bodies like you see in these Marvel and uh, uh, um, Superman movies. We're going to be like super people in the earth. Okay? Like Dragon Ball Z or, 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 or uh, um, the Avengers. You know, super powered people. Because we're going to be gods, literal gods in the earth. Underneath the, the uh, true God, his son. And uh, uh, um and his son, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. It says neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. So this was just a quick lesson to edify on this particular verse here. All right, the verse of the day. All right, uh, uh, Revelation twenty one and four. So with that, I'm gonna end it there. Our praises, our glory, our honors going to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shemakakudash. Double honors to the apostles and elves of the great millstone. Shalom.